On today's video, we're taking a look back at some of the sights and sounds of deer season's past. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And like I said before, today's video is about taking a look back at some of the deer season's past. So sit back, relax, and take in some of the sights and sounds of deer season's past at our deer camp, the Three Point Lounge and Billiard Room. I might tear these up. Want to make sure, leave the seat down for the winter, you know, that uh, if you leave the seat up, that might encourage a, a bear to hibernate in there or something. So, seat down. So what uh, what do we have here, Scott? A little deer heart. Yeah, that's the heart off the buck you got. Yep. Huh? Yep. Uh, so what did you do? Yeah, what did you do to it? Yep. I uh, took the whole heart, kind of soaked it in uh, brine overnight, and then uh, slice it in the in the thin chunks. And then what I like to do is I like to go around the inside and cut out the little bits of uh, valve. Hey guys, do you want to get that big buck this fall? Well then head on down to Camaro's Crawlers and get yourself a bag of Last Supper Deer Corn. Last Supper Deer Corn is no ordinary deer corn. First of all, it's only available at Camaro's Crawlers. Second of all, my buddy Ronnie Camaro, the owner of Camaro's Crawlers, mixes every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn with three special ingredients. The first special ingredient that Ronnie mixes with every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn is fish oil. The fish oil gives your buck a nice clean, healthy, shiny coat. And that will really pay off when you bring that big buck into the taxidermist. The second ingredient that Ronnie mixes in with every bag of Last Supper Deer Corn is Viagra. As soon as that buck takes a bite of this deer corn, he's going to be in rut all season long. And the third ingredient mixed in with every bag of Last Supper deer corn is caffeine. No longer are we going to let those big bucks bed down during the day while we're hunting. We're going to get them up, hopped up on caffeine, and running around all season long. Ronnie Camaro's girlfriend did the graphics on the bag. I think it turned out pretty cool. Hey, if you care enough about that big buck to shoot them, you should care enough about your big buck to buy them Last Supper deer corn. And remember, Last Supper Deer Corn is only available at Camaro's Crawlers.
quartering way from me. Shot. It kind of jumped, took off. Maybe about five minutes to get out there. All this snow on the ground. No blood anywhere. Hmm. Looking around, I'm kind of trying to gauge where I'm at compared to another shooting lane I have off to my left. And it didn't cross that. I'm standing there and I look and then I can see it about 20 yards dead under a couple of balsam trees. Hmm. What caliber are you shooting? 7mm 08. 308 neck down to 7mm. Nice. So, won't be long now. This uh, ice cold water with chunks of ice in it will be nice and hot. It'll be great for washing up. White Castle fries only come in one size. That much I remember. Just had to scrounge one up from another set but we were missing the black king and you know that that's kind of where we got ourselves into a little bit of trouble there right, the first uh, replacement for the black king was this uh, camouflage Bic lighter and you know of course you know and you guys that smoke out there uh, you know, you, you really want to use the camouflage lighter when, you know, when you're out uh, hunting and you want to light up a cigarette, you know. You want to make sure it's camouflage out. That way the deer won't see you lighting up your cigarettes, right? Okay, guys. That was just a quick look back at some deer seasons past. But hey, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.